Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Jay, aka the Murder Whistle. As you can see, I got my co pilot here with me. Today, we're watching Uncle Buck. Now, I have no idea what Uncle Buck is about. You don't know what Uncle Buck is about. What's it about to you? Tell me what's it about. I know it's starring John Candy and, um, and I've been told it's got Macaulay Culkin in it. I have very limited experience with John Candy. Plane, trains, and automobiles that I just recently watched for Thanksgiving. And I know John Candy from Home Alone. Other than that, I don't, I mean, I'm not real familiar with John Candy. Um, but from what I've seen of him, he's a funny guy. And um, I know this is a movie that some of y'all have been requesting for a long time. Especially after um, planes, trains, and automobiles, I don't know what to expect, but some silliness. It was because John Candy seemed to be a silly dude from what I've seen. Before I get into this, I need y'all to do me a favor. I need y'all to hit that like and subscribe. Also, don't forget that bell notification. Also, down in the description is the link to the EOL um, Shopify store. Like I said, we're now doing merch. I have no shame with continuously plugging my stuff. We got shirts. Go get them. Go get them. Go get them. Also, down in the description is the link to our Patreon. Over there, you get early access to all my full-length YouTube videos. You also get access to exclusive TV shows and um, exclusive movies that will never make it to YouTube. And you get access to um, our weekly posts that we do over there. So if you want to say something what I watch on Fridays, that's where you need to be. And a lot of y'all been asking what's the best way to support us. Patreon is, is the best way to go. It's the easiest way, honestly. I'm really looking forward to this movie. Because I've been hearing a lot of good things about it. Like, I've been hearing it's good. Blank has been telling me for years. It's a good movie. Blank has seen every movie under the sun. So, it's rare that something he ain't seen or I've talked about. It's another John Candy movie he mentions a lot. I cannot think of the name of it, but it's another one. With that being said, I see you on the other side. Let's get it. I'm just stopping by real quick to tell y'all. We are now doing an EOL merch. So there's a link right here that Blank's going to put up. Or you can find the link in the store. We're down doing pre-orders on shirts. We got the Shut Up shirt. We got the Murder Whistle Tee. And we got the EOM logo hoodie shirt. It's something y'all been asking us to do. We're doing it now. Um, we got some more ideas for the shirts later. Like, um, we got the Night Night Night. Like, we got the Night Night shirt coming. And we got the Ink shirt coming. <laughs> we got the Chuckle. You know what I'm saying? It's coming. We've been working on a Copilot shirt. You know what I mean? So, tell them, baby. Tell them to head over to the store. Go over there and get you some EOL merch. Don't make the baby sad. <laughs> it's me and one other person doing this. So, he's making them. He sent them to me, and I'm sending them to y'all. So, we're going to be shipping them when they're available. So, don't worry about the whole thing saying, like, two weeks. As soon as I get them, I'm sending them. I'm going to get off here so y'all get to the video. I'll see you on the other side. The other side. But yeah. I was also told this is a John Hughes movie, so I'm super excited about that. He young as hell, ain't he? Just don't give me any crap, Maisie. So? I'm telling, you said crap. There's nothing wrong with crap. No, you're thinking of shit. Oh, right. She's like, oh, right. <laughs> so thank them for getting treated like shit every day. I'm telling on that one. Little girl snitch, ain't she? Maisie, did I kick you around? No, but you said shit twice. But only once, will you? I've got better things to do than babysit you, you little stain. Oh, like what? 
Hang out with friends you don't have. Hey, he an asshole for that. When our mother figure isn't here, I'm in charge. I'm sick of you calling her that. Too bad. <laughs> hey, you might not want to f with him. He damn near killed two grown men. Why, why is the puppy in the dryer? Man, look how they're eating with chopsticks. Hmm. Miles. Hmm? Did you win at hockey yesterday? I could have been over for two weeks. Oh, they're bad parents. It's out of the way. Okay, okay, look, I love you. I can't help myself. I want to get married. I would just like to hear the pitter patter of tiny feet before I die. Hey, man, her lipstick and her color is not working with me right now. It's bothering me. I'm not pushing your buttons. I know me. I know what I like. Don't she look like Paul Rudd with a wig? I said I'd be at work in the morning. I'll be there. Okay. He ain't going, is he? Hello. Hey, you can't be coming to my house that time of night. You better be dying. What happened? Your dad had a heart attack. Oh, well, I guess that's fitting. So, <laughs> my bad. This is just a thought. What about Buck? <laughs> this is not the time to discuss your brother. I don't want him here. He doesn't have kids. He isn't married. He, he doesn't even work. It sounds like he's available then. The trashy people he hangs out with? The, that woman who sells tires? What's wrong with selling tires? She said it like she sell coke. She was like, that woman that sell tires? I love my father very much. So why did you move away from him? If my whole family moved away from me, I'd have a heart attack too. Hey. That little girl don't give a do she? Who's gonna take care of us? Mr. and Mrs. Nibble? That little girl from a small town called No Field. The dog's a ball sniffer. What is it? What's the other word for balls? Get in bed. Nuts. Buck, this is Bob. Bobby, hang on a minute. <coughs> hey, Buck, <coughs> up, baby. <coughs> Buck been on that ooh wee. Uh. Yeah, just use your Christmas present. Shut the f up. Honey, I have some bad news. Let me guess. You are not coming into work in the morning. Let get No, but you don't would you just let me give me let me get the let me get you're not give me a Oh. I hung up. Bye. Oh boy, those kids. I haven't seen those kids in a while. Hey. I thought he had hydraulics. His shocks just f***ed up. Listen. I love the music they played for him driving. You go finish packing and I'll uh, I'll, I'll watch out for Buck. You know they do nothing but missionary. Nothing but missionary. <coughs> That's not the right house, is it? My dad? Hard to say. All those medical terms, huh? What is it, an infarction or something like that? Hey, I, I stopped smoking cigarettes. Oh, good. Isn't that something? He smokes cigars now. Because I'm not going to lie to you. I thought, I thought that was a blunt he was smoking in the car, but that bitch was this long. I don't think it'd be a problem. Don't worry Let about it. Let me just leave you the checks. Well, only if it's comfortable for you. That'll be easier. <laughs> I guess, sure. Hey, she can't stand them. Yeah, this, this should do. I probably won't use any of them, you know, just, just in, in case. <sighs> right. Great. Okay. Listen, first off, if I don't trust you, you think I'm going to leave you a blank check? You kiss my whole ass. I'm going to give you an exact amount. A dope jersey. They didn't warm the car up or nothing. Bro, kids asleep. What are you doing?
He got to get the about my house. Break he, can't. he can't. Now, see, I wasn't going to say nothing about that bus earlier, but it was a short bus. Where I'm from, he belongs on the short bus. The f is he making? You remember me? Uncle Buck. The Uncle Buck. Uncle Buck, she don't give a f Hungry? No. You gotta have a good breakfast. Start the day off right. Mmm. Hey, she means hell, ain't she? There you go. Are you deaf? I said I wasn't hungry. That's one of my specialties. What is it? I'd rather starve, thank you. Is there any particular reason why you're giving me such a hard time? Because she's a bitch. Hey, how you doing? Who are you? I'm your Uncle Buck. Do I have an uncle? Unfortunately. Ooh. Holy smokes. He's cooking our garbage. I mean, that's what it looked like. Her name is Maisie. Maisie. For the second time. Sorry. I ain't gonna lie. I would do shit to her just to piss her off. Like, I would inconvenience the hell out of her. Like, while she's gone, I would just pour salt in her mother coffee. While she's gone to school, I would just take all her earring backs. Where do you live? In the city. Do you have a house? Apartment. On a rent? Rent. What do you do for a living? Lots of things. Where's your wife? Don't have one. How come? It's a long story. Do you have kids? No, I don't. How come? It's an even longer story. Are you my dad's brother? What's your record for consecutive questions asked? 38. I'm your dad's brother, all right. You have much more hair on your nose than my dad. How nice of you to notice. I'm a kid. That's my job. I'm going to like them, too. Yeah, 38 questions in a row? I lose my mind. But I had an aunt that had a car like that. But it was black. We used to call it a Batmobile. When she took us places, we used to hide in the back seat so people wouldn't see us. I'm talking about we'd be ducked down. Let's... What time you want me to pick you up after school? Don't bother. I'll get a ride with friends. Oh, no, no. I got my orders. Uh, what time? Are you really this stupid? Um. So he knows when his car going to backfire? Stand me up today and tomorrow. I'll drive you to school in my robe and pajamas and walk you to your first class. Did you ever have anyone embarrass you like this? No. Hey, I'm a like Buck. His car ghetto fabulous, though, boy. What do we talk about? Me? Playing the father. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm really glad that you can do it for your brother. You sure as hell can't do it for me. How could I do it for you, honey? We don't have kids. Buck. I'd better have that argument. You deserve it. Eight more. Come on. Work it. Get the circulation. Poppy. Like, I'm fat, but that's fat, fat. The f is that? Would you like to talk about a possible lunch trade? What did he... What was in that bag? It looked like a turd. Oh, what they doing? Cover your ears. What? Just do it. Hey, Uncle Buck's car need a nickname. Thundercracker or something? You ever hear of a tuna? <laughs> you ever hear of a ritual killing? <laughs> I don't get it. You know on her face in public like that again and you'll be one. Yeah. <laughs> Are you crazy? I can be. Listen, he's got to get a ticket for that. The guy's a predator and you're his prey. He's destroyed the ozone. His name is Bug. <laughs> Bug? 
What's his last name? Spray? <laughs> Ain't the best thing about this movie. No. Now turn my jam off. That's not fair. What's not fair? Your brother. What about your brother? How about the dog? What are they doing? Don't you do everything around here? I'm surprised you're doing chores. Honestly. Look, Buck's got me busting my hump. He says a little hard work would put some hair on my chest. Uncle Buck ain't shit. Oh, good. I'll be right there. The guy took off today and left Miles and Maisie alone. Why'd you lie? Did you uh, brush your teeth? Yeah, I could even feel my toothbrush. I liked her at first, but she's a little bitch. How many times a day do you feed a dog like that? How many times a day do you think he eats? Four or five. He eats once. He eats once a day. Just once. Four or five. <laughs> He's loving Buck. I would keep some water out. I've been leaving the, the toilet seats up. Yeah. Is that what the blue water is? It's not good for him, huh? Oh, oh God. Oh, he's trying to kill the dog. He got to go. Mr. Sandman. I know that's awkward as hell. Bring me a dream. Bum, 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 bum. Hey, he probably got any bed. I feel his pain, though. They do that. You see how much room they take it out? It's just two of them. Bring us a dream, give him a pay. And that's exactly what happens. If I'm the move, they'd be right there with me. Cindy? Who is this and why she walking to my house? Hello? Why she dressed like Jim in the holograms? Come on, here we go. Ah, take that. Take that. Come on, you don't want the curl bar, do you? Come on. Hey, she shook, ain't she? Freeze. What? Who are you? Cindy! She, she's in Indianapolis. What's she doing in Indianapolis? Bitch, who are you? Why are you in my house? The washing machine. I, I don't know how to work it, so I was kicking it and swearing at it, you know, which is not an uncommon thing to do. <laughs> not doubt. The washing machine seven months pregnant. Well, I came to invite Cindy to lunch, but since she's not here, do you have plans? She aggressive, ain't she? Oh. Rain check. I'm only going to be here a couple days. Hey, she was aggressive as hell, though. She's like, rain check. Waiting for your sex? Shut up. What do you say? What'd you blow all that makeup for? We're just going bowling. I'll die before I go anywhere with you. How'd you like to spend the next several nights wondering if your crazy, out of work bum uncle will shave your head while you sleep? See you in the car. Hey, he's my kind of petty. He would have a badass bowling ball. I mean, you look like you already got your ass whipped. Why you want to come over here? Don't you see the fuck off on her face? I bet that hurt. Buy a beer? You must be a college student, right? Cheerleader, probably. So, there's R. Kelly's white brother, because they are in Illinois. R. Kelly from Chicago. This is Billy Kelly. Fuck. Move it. Go on. Get out. Hey, Buck must be a bad man. Because he was nervous. What's a Shanice? None of your damn business, bitch. Maybe if you got married, you'd stop being such an asshole. Those smirks you do is funny, though. This is where, this is where you separate the men from the boys. What are you making? I hope this is a pizza. I got you now. That's 
a pancake? Happy birthday! Woo! <laughs> I hope you're hungry. You should see that toast. I couldn't even get it through the door. Oh, he about to have diabetes. What the f***? <sighs> oh, he sauced up. I'm going through withdrawals. I'm Puda the Clown. Put it there. We are high. <laughs> He's hands down his Puda. What did, you, what did you have? A few drinks this morning? Huh? I, I think you did, didn't you? You never touch this stuff? I wouldn't be drinking if I was going to entertain some kids. Hey. You know who I am? In the field of local live home entertainment. Oh my God! You're a f***ing clown, bro. Low life lion, four flushing sack of shit. <laughs> Oh, Buck be throwing hands like that. You see what he did to his nose? He knocked that motherfucker's nose like this. Let's go to the car, huh? Why? He, he want to read you the cat in the hat. I told you 25 times we're going to pick up Tia. She's at a cheerleader's house having dinner. Well, so she says. Since when do cheerleaders live in the woods? You ask a grown folk questions, little boy. Stay in the back seat. Trust me. Buck about to go to jail. <laughs> Shut up! They certainly are scraping the bottom of the barrel for cheerleaders these days. Man. I got a <laughs> now that scared me so bad. Maybe your bug here can join us. We can talk about burying the hatchet. You know what a hatchet is, don't you, bug? It's an axe. Sort of, yeah, yeah. I know y'all laughing. Y'all dead wrong for that. Take a little off the shoulder. Shave a little meat off the old kneecap. Ooh. You got both kneecaps? <laughs> I like to keep mine razor sharp, too. Uncle Buck might be my spirit animal. Why, I've been known to circumcise a gnat. <laughs> wow. Bug. Gnat. <laughs> you understand what I'm talking about? I don't think you do. I'll be right back. I won't meet him when he get back. He's all talk. Here it is. Hey. I bet she's getting a tongue. Look at what you know about that. Wow. I... Hey, I love the music in this movie. Hey, man, he's smoking in the school. He better set the school on fire, ain't he? Oh, there's no way in hell I could do that. I'm Anita Horgarth. Buck melanoma. Molly Russell's wart. That thing got a face on it? Not her wart. I'm, I'm the wart. She's my tumor. My, my growth, my, uh, my pimple. I'm Uncle Wart, that's what they call me. Or uh, Melanoma Head, they'll call me that. I can't, I can't front, I'll probably do the same shit. I'll probably just stare at it though. I probably wouldn't actually say anything. I've been an educator for 31.3 years. God, it's so big. She is a twiddler, a dreamer, a silly heart. She five. Hey, all she must be doing is coding. I don't think I want to know a six-year-old who isn't a dreamer or a silly heart. And I sure don't want to know one who takes their student career seriously. You so much as scowl at my niece or any other kid in this school and I hear about it and I'm coming looking for you. You can't do that, bub. Go downtown and have a rat gnaw that thing off your face. Good day to you, madam. Hey, buck a thug, ain't he? Ah, yeah. Hey, man, this might be one of the best uncles in the world. Other than he can't cook worse. I hate these machines. Um, look, I'm just calling to say I, uh, I miss you. I know you probably don't believe.
even, but it's it's. She don't look like Paul Red no more. What do we call him? Or one one was on the right was Lyndon, and the left was Johnson. Johnson, I think. No, that was your boobs. We did boobs were Minnie and Mickey. I remember that because of Disney World. And Felix, Felix is what we call your. Shut the f up. Ah, get in the house where you belong. Come on. Do they have a cat? Who let the cat out? We don't have a cat. Come on, get out. Ah. Come on, shoot. Hey. <laughs> Open up. Listen, that is a terrifying. That's a terrifying sound. Kids laughing in the dark. That's some demon. Well, can you tell me when he's going to be back? He went out with Marcy, the lady who lives across the street. Do you want to leave a message? Now she looks like Paul Rudd. Hey, she's a little bitch. Shut the f up. Listen, this is the most ghetto fire I've ever seen in my life. You're bored out of your mind. You need a little adult supervision. Is that old girl from Roseanne? The one that wasn't racist? Oh. I'm not gonna leave unless you do. Okay, I'll do one dance though. Oh, this was a setup. <laughs> Dips. Oh. Oh. Mm. Oh. You. Oh, this is about to be horrible. <laughs> Hi, Shanice. Surprise! Uh, oh, bruh. Oh. Shanice! Come here, hon! You can't hurt his car. You. Hey, bro, you might want to be nervous. She got an OJ. I'm just saying, she go paint that mother white. Come back, it's gonna be a problem. Hey, Buck. Yeah. Have a bad day today. It hurts when someone screws with your life, doesn't it? I hope he wakes and she sleeps and is going to her fart, dead up her nose. I'm talking about one of them good stinky stomach hurt farts. Just wrong, and I hope it's under the cover. There you go. There you go. You can't do that. You cannot get that baby drunk like that. And I did. I did. They'd say, oh, man, Buck. It's all about to fall asleep. I'll see you guys Sunday. What day is today? Friday. You know what that means. You put that on a platter and sugar the pot. Put down a platter and serve it up hot. Hey, I'm about to be all that. And she promised me she was going to look after you guys this evening? She promised me. Does anyone in this house know how to keep a promise? Well, I know I know you two guys do. I know. You know, I had somewhere very important to go to. That's cute as hell. I, I, I have to take you with me tonight. Where? To a racetrack. Ain't nothing wrong going to a racetrack. It gonna be a good uncle and not take him. Cause let me tell you, I got to some racetracks when I was younger. I didn't want to be there. Can we put our personal problems aside for a second? Tia took off on me. What do you mean she ran away? I, I guess I don't know. I and I need to find her. Can you help me? I'm really stuck, Shanice. Ant Man would do it. I will help you because there's kids involved in this. But as far as you and I are concerned. It is over. I bet she's a good person. But I'll tell you right now, I'll call any of my exes, they would not be there. Not one. Hi. I, I 
I'm Shanice Kowalowski. I'm Uncle Buck's friend. May I see your driver's license, ma'am? Yeah. That's my little kid. Hmm. Can you please take it out of there? Take it out! I'm telling you, he the best thing about the movie. I don't give a f She's gonna lose her virginity to this song? That's weird. Ah! I knew it was gonna happen, it still scared me. Hey! Hey! Come back here with that! Okay, baby. I'd have acted out. Stop it, please. Didn't she say stop it? Oh, didn't she say stop it though? Just relax. Oh, he a rapist! Hey, go get your hatchet, dog. Put it in his dickhead. Grab his dick, put it in his dickhead. Do it anyway, he's cheating on your niece. He's still a rapist, he deserves it. Did he get him? In my mind, Bug now has a pee hole this big. She knows she hear that loud ass car. Like I don't care how bad I am at you. I'm I'm not walking that far. <laughs> I'm gonna take a ride. You are right. Everything you said would happen happened. I don't want to talk about it. I just want to get you home. Hey, that's a good uncle. Cause you know, most people in that most grown ups in that situation will talk will talk down to you, make you feel worse. Tell my parents about everything that's been going on. No. Thanks. I'm probably the last guy in the world you'd want to help. I really could use your advice vis-a-vis -vis Shanice. It's a nice moment between them. Did you do anything to bug? Oh my god. What did you do? <laughs> That's even better. You shithead! I can't suffocate in here! I'd like you to apologize to the lady, please. I'm sorry! Okay, asshole! I'm sorry! I don't know if I told you this or not, but uh, I'm an amateur dentist. Get him out of there. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. He's half hearted. We'll let him go. Oh, here I'm, we go. I'm really sorry. I'm I sure am. you are. I'm sure you are. I, I am. Here, let me just get you. Hey, my man stuffs him in the trunk. Hey, Uncle Bucket G. A little fine wood. I hope he beat his ass with this golf club. You better. Ah! Yes, sir. What do you see in that guy, anyway? I <laughs> like me figure that one out. Girls like boys. Don't you think he loves you? If he does, he'd never say. But what if he did? Then I would suspect he needed a new set of tires. <laughs> Why just tires? Have you seen his car? He needed everything that went under the hood. Everything. I think he'd make a wonderful husband and father. You do? Oh, yeah. My sister and brother adore him. He can't cook for shit. He can't wash clothes either. Actually, I can't even hate on his muscles for watching clothes. He was getting a muff clean. Hey, like, ooh! Hey, you know this hurt. How you gonna be in somebody else's house? Kick their door. And it wasn't for tires, sweetheart. 
It was for shocks, remember? Let me get some more deal. I never thought I'd see John Candy run. You can't tell me they ain't related somehow. They look just like each other. Buck did that. Buck got her back. I love you. Shut up. I did leave the house oh, a geez. little messy. We did try our best. No, we're not so good at Chase. doing that. What? We're going home. We're not dying. Okay, I'm saying goodbye. Is that all right? Right all right, loud. nice guy, isn't he? You know, he's getting a new company car on Monday. Uh, hell, I am. The beast is good for another 100,000 miles. 100,000 miles. Uncle Buck the goat. All right, so we just got finished watching Uncle Buck. Of course, I love it. It's John Hughes movie. Loved every second of it. I said earlier, Macaulay Culkin was my favorite thing about the movie. And that still stands. He was my favorite thing in the movie. John Candy was really good in this. Even though the little, that one um, little girl was evil, I liked her character. I liked the fact that John Candy's character basically grew as a person once he actually got some real responsibility. Because, you know what I'm saying? His life was like a mess. Until he had to go take care of those kids. Then once he actually had somebody to take care of, had some responsibility, he couldn't do the stuff that he was doing before. Like, he didn't even go to the track. No matter what the situation was, he defended his his family and those like those kids with everything in him. He went off on the principal so good, her whole attitude changed towards the next person. Because he held his family down. He... He defended his. He defended him. You know what I'm saying he he was a good guy. Didn't cook for shit, but he was a good guy. He was a good dude, and he just needed that responsibility to grow as a character or as an individual person. That's the one thing I've noticed about John Hughes movies. They're really good at being funny, very entertaining, and having a deeper message in each of them. Like you can watch this on the surface and think one thing, but once you get to pulling back the layers, it's really a deeper message in there. And that's one reason why I love his movies so much. They always have a feel good feeling to them, but they always grounded in reality. So it always feel real. It's never a situation that I've seen in his movies yet to where I'm like, that's not real. This is a really good movie. I like Uncle Buck. This is one of this could be a heavy rotation movie. I bet we all got an Uncle Buck in the family. Yeah, some of us might be Uncle Bucks, but I hope y'all enjoyed the reaction. I enjoyed watching it and reacting to it for y'all. If like you didn't do it for me earlier, do it for me now. Please hit that like and subscribe. Don't forget about the um EOL merch in the about section. Like I said, we're doing pre-orders. Don't forget to check out the description as well. Oh, there's a link to the Patreon. Speaking of Patreon, I want to give the VIPs a shout out now. I'm going to give a shout out to Leslie Trey, John Harrell, Becca June, um, Big Al, Robin, John Patrick, Simon X, Lost Opportunity, aka Crow Crow, Cody Stoudemire, Frost 1997, Paul Sawicki, Grady B. Olsen, Adam, Anna Rondo, Big Frank, Echo, Naran. TJ Gingler, Kevin Riley, Red Tail Z, Thomas E. Johnson Jr., The Brandons, Garrett, Nicholas Jenkins, Christopher William Baldwin, Jennifer and Natalie, and Jamie Gibson. Um, thank y'all for being VIPs. I want to thank everybody else for being part of the family as well. Like I said, y'all made this, y'all make this great. I'm grateful for each and every one of y'all. Y'all could be anywhere in the world. Y'all choose to be here with us. I know some people probably be confused when I say us. Because Blank runs the channel. He's the editor. So I say us. I'm going to get off here. So I take my babies out. Y'all be good. Y'all be safe. Night, night.
And you can put that up on a platter and serve it up. 